Hey everyone, many of you have seen this. This is one of my Proxmarks. It's featured in a few videos on this channel, and a few of you have asked about this cool additional mod. Uh, this is, of course, the Bluetooth and battery add-on called the Blue Shark. Many people think it's cool, but many people also find it a little intimidating. So this is the first in a series of videos where we will talk about how to install it, how to set it up with your phone, and how to use it. Yes, the Blue Shark add-on is for the Proxmark 3 Hardware Revision 4. So if you have an RDV4 Proxmark, that's, you know, any of this form factor, yes, the 4.01 has more advanced antennas with switches. You don't need these switches to work with the Blue Shark. If you have this form factor of Proxmark, you should be able to relatively easily install this add-on. Essentially, this will all communicate with your Proxmark really just through a simple attachment like this ribbon cable. You can see there's an adapter right on here. That's what we're going to access. Now we're going to want to pry this case apart so that we have a little landing zone for this to mount on. But as you'll, as you'll witness, ultimately, this is not that challenging. So using a spudger or tweezers or any other relatively appropriate tool, let's go ahead and take this plastic cover off. Now this is not an electronic component. These are just straight through holes with a little bit of acrylic there. That allows that light to pipe right on through. And if you're like me, however, and you don't want that light to look too bright, you don't have to do kind of an ugly job like this. You don't have to borrow your wife or your girlfriend or your dad's nail polish. You can go ahead and apply some sort of opaque material right in here before you install this to try to dim those LEDs down a little bit. If you're going to do some pocket carry like I've shown in other videos, might not be the worst idea. Peeling off that small bit of plastic will expose adhesive. That'll help to hold this in place. But first things first, we want to make sure that we are properly connected up into this little socket here. Now, you could try to slide it in just like this. I personally recommend taking the antennas off and getting them out of the way before we install this. It'll make that a lot easier to insert your ribbon cable. And if you've never used one of these little sockets before, this small piece can pull out or sometimes just flip up. This is a little bit finicky on mine. But you can see these teeth are going to insert directly in here. And then that other component will slip right over top of them to lock things back in. There we go. That ribbon cable should be locked in. We've got little pegs to align everything where they should go. Ribbon cable doubles back on itself and just squeeze it down. There you have it. And your Blue Shark is now installed. It's time now to connect it up to your computer, get the battery charged, get it flashed, and move on to the next step. 